This is not a filter. It looks like I have rainbows on my face. I do. Uh, all right, let's get a message. <laughs> Who needs filters when you just have the, the magic of nature, right? Hang some prisms in your windows. It'll change your life, I swear to God. What do we need to know? Ooh, that one kind of wants to come out. Four of Cups. We want to know something, but we're not seeing it. Or we're like, mm, over it. It's not happening. It's not coming through. Everything sucks. This is you. <laughs> Listen up. Uh, this message might be for you. This one's popping out too. Ooh, inspired action. Moving from apathy to inspired action. Cards are flying out of the deck today. That doesn't usually happen with me. Let's just see. And normally I only do one for these videos, walking away from something. Mm -mm. Okay. You are in some sort of situation that is literally making you feel like, mm, over it, I don't like it, like this is boring. It's actually like taking your, your life force energy and I don't mean like your life force energy, like, um, like your ability to stay alive. I mean like your, your zhuzh, your vuzh, your vuzh, you know, your zhuzh, your zhuzh. I don't have any words. Your joie de vivre. That's what's trying to come out. Your joie de vivre. It was weird. I was like, zhuzh. sometimes that happens when I read people. I get words and I'm like, bleh, bleh, and I spit them out and they come out funny. Your joie de vivre. There we go. Something is stealing your, uh, your joy of life and it's leaving you in this space where you're like, you don't see the good. You're not happy. You're just like dwelling in apathy and drowning in apathy almost. Um, but with the eight of cups, it's saying like, you need to walk away from that. Whatever that is, whatever situation is that's in your life that is like draining you for your enthusiasm for life, um, it needs to be left behind because it's not working for you anymore. And when you cut the ties with that and you move on and you walk away from it, you make space for the Knight of wands, okay? The Knight of Wands is all about inspired action where you feel that joyful energy or you feel that joie de vivre or you feel that like interest, passion, curiosity, and then you're like, and you follow it. Um, but it's really hard to get into that state when you're stuck in this shithole of like, so I don't know if it's a job, I don't know if it's a relationship, I don't know what it is, but there's something that is like, just, it's got you in a funk and it's like, you become like prisoner of this funkdom, is what I'm hearing. And you don't want to be there so long because then you'll be you'll become the king, All right? If you stay there too long. Um, and so it's saying it's time to like pack up your troubles and you'll get back and smile, smile, smile. That's what I'm hearing. Get out, go. Um, it's gonna be fine. This card is about like endings, okay? Endings that don't feel easy and can feel painful, and you're like, oh but it's actually a double card of the deck and it says everything is fine. So it's like, it's fine. This ending feels yucky and you're gonna be like, it's gonna feel dramatic and it's gonna feel like not nice to go through, but it's actually fine. So we have to move away from that, move more into the space of the Knight of Wands. Let's see if I can get anything else about this to help you discern whether this is for you or not. I'm gonna burp, sorry. Oof, this one's getting real. <laughs> Raw, this is what happens. When I read, sometimes I feel like I'm gonna barf or I'm gonna burp. Um, big ass fulfillment, yeah, man. Okay, there's like wish fulfillment. You deserve to be this lady sitting here with all the cups. The cups represent all of your hopes and dreams and all the things that you want in your life. And you have them on your shelf and you're like, hmm, look what I did in my life. You can have that. You can have that, but the way you build that is by taking action that you're inspired by and interested in and passionate about. You have to leave this shitty thing behind. Woo! It wanted to go so much that it just fell on the ground. You have to leave it. You gotta walk away from it. Like I said, I don't know if it's work, love, or family, but you'll know. Ask yourself what part of my life uh, feels like it's flatlining and I feel really uninspired and really like it's gonna be same shit, different day for the rest of my life. That's where you start. Wherever you feel that energy in your life, that's where you need to start thinking about how can we end this and move on? Because once you get going, honey, you're going to a good place. 